your haircuts, my feedback, number 11. You guys know the routine. Submit your photos at basiofeedback at gmail.com or you can go to my Instagram at basiocuts. Hit email and send me your photos that way. Water, uh, watermark it if you want to shout out like this photo shows at Mac the Barber. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. Cool. So like I said, we have Mac the Barber here. And um, this is a good haircut, man. It's a kid's, it's a young man's cut. Um, I'm looking at this taper right here and it looks it looks great. I think this taper looks a little bit better than this taper I feel like it was a little compressed right here in this section and right behind the ear it looks like it's a little bit of a line But right here it looked a little bit better. I would I would just you know I would check the mirror and just make sure they look they look similar um, the back taper is is it's pretty good man like Obviously this is definitely you know professional work and it looks good. I'm sure the client was happy. Shout out to Mac the Barber. All right, so this one has no shout out, but this one, this one you could tell is more of a beginner cut, right? So I'm, you know, what stands out to me right away is it just looks unfinished because of the beard. Even though, let's say he didn't want his beard done, I still would have blended it in a little bit more. And it looks like you kind of tried to, but you didn't spread it out enough. Same thing that goes for you know your fade goes for the beard. You gotta spread it out more the blend. Um, instantly I see some weight right here in this section that looks like about a one and a half would have taken that weight up going up about a quarter or a third inch up um, I think you gotta I think you gotta figure out whether you're going to um, submit to a ball fade right so it looks it looks real bald here looks real bald here but then there's like a bunch of stubble especially right here like you can see a whole line of stubble here um, you might have been afraid to raise raise the fade or whatever, but like I could line that up this whole thing right here I could line all this up too. So and right here in the corner. I would have sharpened that up But I mean like like I always tell you guys This is all about growing so you know Hopefully I wasn't too harsh. I don't think I was right here in this section This is probably like a number three would have cleaned this up. Just come off the ridge Don't go into the the bulk of the hair go come off the the shape of the head um and like I said, repetition over everything, man. Cut this guy's hair one billion times, man. And you're going you're gonna to be nice no matter what. So, All right, let's go ahead and get on to this next tutorial. All right, so this is, a, this is a tough one because he's obviously light right here. And it doesn't look like you pushed him back at all. The only thing I see right away is that this is longer than this, right? The way you avoid that is I don't know. It look, yeah, you do have a mirror. He's using the mirror and it could be lighting too because it looks really dark light up light up your your space right so i have on on a link on i think the last vlog i have um the ring light that i use get you a led ring light use that and i'm telling you you'll be able to see much better in these dark spaces and and you'll you'll be able to see that this is longer than this right the blend looks good the c cup is nice um I don't know if you were trying to point this, but I, I probably would have tried to get a little bit tighter here if you weren't. But I think it's a dope cut. Besides, you know, this being longer than this, it's a dope cut, man. Congrats. All right, so we got Mike Kingman. Mike Kingman, he's a dope barber, man. This dude right here, he came, um, he came to to headlines and he, you know, hung out for a little bit, chopped it up, and took some photos of the shop and sent it over. Like that's that's networking, man. That's dope. So shout out to Mike Kingman. Um, and let's go ahead and start critiquing. Cool. So the blend looks good. Um, I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but it looks good. Like right here, there's a little bit of weight. That probably would have been the masters or the seniors, whatever you use. Probably like a quarter of, of the weight open, maybe the second notch, right? And uh, bring it up a little bit more, just using the corners, and then maybe close it and go underneath that, and just use the corners, and that would have cleaned it up from here over perfect blend and it's funny because these are the haircuts that people send me but they never show me the back where it always seems to get darker I guarantee you if you would have took an angle an angle shot from the front this blend would have looked perfect but from this angle it shows you know it, it's 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 more um it's more of a risk because people because you can notice some things and this, these are the tougher areas to cook to not to cook to uh, cut but yo shout out to you Mike Kingman for 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 taking this angle of the cut, man. Um, like I said, just spread it out more by using the the blade a quarter of the way open and then closed, and you'd be able to spread that out real nice. And all this right here is blended nicely. It's just this section. So good job, bro. 
Jordan Shaw. Oh, yo, he really, he got it in, man. I already did this dude. Yo, you slick, bro. I already did this dude, but this time he tagged himself and stuff, so. <laughs> That's dope. Guys, with, with, with your haircuts, my feedback, I, I do everyone. Like, whether I have to tell you, you know, resubmit a photo or whatever, I just want to make sure that you know that you weren't skipped because there's some people that hit me up. Um, even so, they're like, how long, how long does it take you to get to get to a picture? Because, you know, I've been waiting. I don't know if I want to resubmit because I think you might have skipped mine. I don't skip them. I, I, I literally do all of them and I'll let you know, you know what I'm saying, whether or not you need to resubmit. And sometimes I, I, I'll do the same. Sometimes I catch it, but sometimes I won't. All right. So this this one is a, is a good photo. This is what I mean by that angle, right? So I'm sure it's, it's much darker in this space because you could tell already from here. This section looks blended pretty nicely it looks like it was a little compressed in this section right here like literally open it you know this is the the blade this is no guard this section right here spread it out a little bit more um the beard looks good um maybe right here you could have caught this with the trimmer a little bit more this little the stray hair just kind of freehand it and take it off but i mean this right here the corner of the trimmer would have been nice um, it's, it's a nice sharp line. I can tell you didn't want to push this back any even though he was so he's a little light there compared to here So big on you for keeping it natural, but this is you know, this is a decent cut man. This ain't you know, Definitely a good foundation All right, so we got a ball head. I don't know if you actually shaved his head Did you use a razor now? It looks it looks pretty damn close. I don't know if you use a razor might have been a shaver But it looks pretty close um Right here, I probably would have combed the hair outwards to this direction. That way I could catch these little hairs right here that you can tell. There's a little bit of a, a wave to it. Um, but, you know, another thing that you could do is put a white card right here in this section. See how the, the wall is kind of white, kind of? Um, and you can see the little stray hairs. If you put a white card there you'll they'll really stand out you'll be able to freehand and catch all these little hairs that are kind of like you know straying out so hope that helps all right so this is a dope cut nice blend little bit of a line right here that looks like the one closed um the c cup is nice um i don't know if you use the straight razor it looks like a little bit of stubble outside of the line um but you definitely use a shaver it looks like um it's a all around nice cut I think if you part the hair a little bit better you won't have like this disconnect that's kind of wavy you know what I'm saying um, I would be a little bit cleaner with the way I part the hair and you know if you're gonna bring a two guard or a three guard all the way up here um, part it first make sure it's a nice straight clean line and then and then do your work but the blend is is, is dope man good job alright this one's actually good yeah, my man was not playing. Look at, see this, this is marketing. This is, this is marketing right here. And I could tell you, you're probably a busy barber because you're smart. He put his YouTube channel on here and you know, I don't know if you guys are going to check it out or not, but I can guarantee you he's going to get some looks because he did this on, on, on his, um, his Your Haircuts submission. All right. So this is a good cut too. It's a dope cut. Um, nicely blended nice and tight right here probably could have blended the beard out a little bit more there's a little bit of a line here um but it's a sharp beard here um i pro you know the the bottom right here could have been a little bit cleaner but the blend the blend is a1 bro nice cut man all right sincerely you're a barber this is a dope cut too it looks like there's a little bit of a line here you could have spread that out a little bit more Right here, probably the two guard closed using the corners would have cleaned it up a little bit more. But this is a nice classic style cut, man. Really dope. Um, obviously, we're going to leave the, the the line natural. I wouldn't line this guy up just because of the way his hairline is. So, I mean, good call on that. I don't know if that was the client's request, but that was a good call on you if it was you. Um, and it looks like a nice, evenly cut um, top with the scissors. Doesn't look choppy at all. So, dope cut, bro. All right, so this is a nice blend right here too, man. And I could tell in the back that it's nicely blended as well. I don't need to see the back angle. I can tell just from this section right here that it was blended nicely, um, and it's it's it contours the shape of his head very nicely. Um, you know, he lined it up. It's not too sharp, but it's not it's not like natural. 
a little bit of a stray here that you might have been it, I wouldn't say you cut it with the trimmers I say you would cut the the hairline hairs a little bit shorter that way you don't have this little long strand of hair hanging over because when his hair is wet he's gonna have a lot of hairs that are gonna stick out if you know what I mean um, I think you did a great job of blending keeping the blend a little bit below the ridge and it connecting to the top even though it looks a little disconnected it's 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 perfect you know what i'm saying it's not it's not too disconnected it's not overly connected you know what i mean to where he's not gonna be able to comb it over like hairs are gonna be spiking out so this was a good job all right we got yo yo barber bimbo all right yo barber bimbo interesting name bro interesting but you know, you know that's that's a memorable name. I would say the line is nicely nicely done, sharp. The taper looks a little unorganized. Um, sharp lines, like I said, this could have been a little bit tighter. Tighter. What? You got me a present? Give that to mommy. Mommy, does mommy know you have that? Go give those earrings back to mommy. Hurry. Sorry guys. All right, so I would have used this. I know, baby. Go, go give it to mommy. I love you. I would have used the shaver, the shaver right here in this section, right, to get it tighter. And it just looks like, you know what I'm saying, like, a, what is that, the heartbeat, the heartbeat lines or whatever? That's what it looks like right here. And I know I'm, I might be, I might be being hard on you, but I, it, for me, when I, that, when that used to happen, it, it was because I was either unorganized or I would get lost in my blend. Or I would try to fix something that didn't need to be fixed and I'm just like overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? But it looks like you know what you're doing, so. Might be crazy. Hope that helps, bro. Alright, so this one is way too far for me to even try to critique. Too small of a picture. So hopefully, you know, you guys can take this as an, as an example and don't make the same mistake this guy did. Um, it looks nicely blended. The design, the part, it you know, I like parts that are a little thicker, but I think it there's the there's there's parts in a part that should be thin. Don't do it thick all the way through because then it just looks like a fat part, right? Um, like I literally would have would have started thin, then thicken it a little bit, then thin here, then thicken it right here in this section, and then start to thin out in this section so that it pops, but it's not like over overly doing it. So. That's the best I can do, man, with, with this quality photo. All right, this one is by AKA The Barber. So right away what stood out to me was this corner. It looks sharp, but it looks sharp, but hairs still that needed to be sharpened. You know what I'm saying? Like a, it looks like a sharp hairline that still needs a little bit more sharpening, if that makes sense. Um, you know, and that could be, you know, you just combing the hair, maybe, maybe slightly um, wet, slightly dampen the hair. And get these little hairs to hang over, but I don't know. You do you guys understand what I'm saying? I like how you left this section with a little bit of, of uh, a darker tone of hair to get to make the line pop a little bit more. Um, definitely doesn't look like you used a razor. And when you lined it up, it looks like you went. Ch -ch, you know what I'm saying? Like this is this is my arrow following the line. Where I think it should have been, and you can see you can see the shadow of it. It should have been more like this. See what I'm saying? So, you know, get you a shaver too, bro. But your blend is on point. A little bit of scissor over comb right here in this section. Or maybe part it and blend this a little bit better. Um, but the blend all through here is, is, is nice, man. Real nice. Shout out to AKA The Barber. Oh, and you blended the beard out. Perfect, bro. All right. So, here we, here we got the, the ever so popular um, man bun. You know, the, what is it, The game haircut, right? Um, so, the blend is decent. Um, looks looks pretty good here. Looks like you could have balded this out a little bit better. Like there's literally stubble here. A little bit of a line here. Um, the C cup, commit to it, bro. Make that thing sharp. Commit to it. Right in this section, looks like either the the blade no guard all the way open, or the zero guard, or the half guard with walls. And you would have cleaned this up a little bit better just to make it easier for you. And then the the blend would have been a one, man. Alright, here we go. He, he's on he's on game with his brush. It ain't the baby brush I use, but it's it's a dope brush. So this is a dope cut, man. Like the line could have been a little bit sharper. I don't know if you used a razor on here. Um, there's a little bit of stray hairs. It looks like here. Um, but the blend is a one, bro. And I like how you left the shot, the ghost line. 
I mean, this was a dope cut. It looks like it was blended really nicely here. So, good job. This is a good cut right here. This is a difficult cut. I don't like how you cut this short right here. Um, like, you can see the little hairs sprouting out. Barbers, barbers tend to be terrible at this. I'm not saying you're terrible. I'm just saying that barbers in general... They're, like we don't understand over directing the hair especially in the front you understand the hair starts to grow lower here where right here probably starts growing here you got to over direct the hair so that it looks even these hairs sprouting out right here especially with this texture of hair I think that was a bad idea to, to cut this shorter and I'm not saying that you did it you might have not done it but you know if you didn't do it this, this doesn't apply to you the barber who cut this the hair but it's still a lesson learned for anybody who's watching. Um, but the blend is A1. Blend is dope. I don't know if you used the shaver. It looks like you, you could have brought the shaver just a little bit higher. The beard is nice and sharp. I probably wouldn't have brought it up this high. I probably would have point, put the point like over here. Maybe blend it, in, blend it in a little bit. But I mean, this is overall a good haircut, man. All right, so this is a, this is a pretty good haircut with this texture of hair. Everybody struggles in this area right here. Um, you didn't do too bad. Um, this this looks very nice and sharp. The blend looks A1. A little bit of a, um, like some line action here. and It might be the lighting of this picture. Um, but a little bit of a line here. I probably would have you know, blended up but then blended down. I don't know if you blend it up. But if you blend it up, I'd blend down too just to cast these little... This little bit of a um, a bit of lines, and it doesn't look like it was lines created because you couldn't take the line out. It just looks like maybe your your clipper was leaving, you know, lines of hair, and you didn't go over the same spot in, in, in enough times, if that makes sense. All right, so this one. So, um, what I would tell you right off the bat is your lines could be sharper. Um, I don't think I, I need to tell you that. You know what I would do is put a number one guard and right around this area just the number one guard with the grain is gonna keep it dark enough to where it's gonna look like this this color tone but it's gonna you know let the hairs lay down more so that when you line it up it's nice and crispy I would have done that all the way through here a one with the grain lay this hair down brush some more it doesn't look like you're brushing enough to be honest or combing enough um, and if you are combing or brushing it looks like you're brushing in the wrong direction that's why there's a lot of like little there's like scalp there's a lot of exposed scalp because the hair is not laying right um, and that would have helped you out much more on your blend believe me so hope that helps man all right so this picture super exposed can't really see anything but I'll try to critique you the best that I can your guideline was from here down that works on a lot of people didn't work on this particular client because you have all this hair that's shaved so much shorter all in this section than it is on the top. Now, if this, all this hair would have been like the same length as this all through here, that would have worked. But now it looks like you just took a number three or four, shaved it all the way up here, all the way up here, and then just blended a little bit down here. But then you blend it way up here in this area. Just doesn't look right. Um, so ho hope that helps. All right, so this is a, this is a dope blend. Um, I probably would have would have I would have spread it more a little bit in this section. There's a lot of little light gray um, stubbles here, but the blend the blend's on point. Like that's just me being being a little a little bit hard on you. Um, the line is is nice. It's natural. I wouldn't I wouldn't have brought the line up any more than you have it. I don't know if you used a razor on them. Maybe the razor would have made it a little bit sharper. Probably would have kept the hair a little bit darker. Just just in this section right here. Just in this section right here, I probably would have I would have kept it darker. I would have went with the grain or something, um, and just because if you cut this too short, it, let's say you cut a one in this section, this is always gonna look darker than here in the receding corners. So um, you know I'd be careful with that. I mean I got the blurred face, but the blend is dope. Um, right here, I probably would have sharpened that up a little bit more, made it straighter. You got these little stray hairs. If you're gonna if you're gonna line up line them up in the front, line them up, man. Make that sharper. Um, the part the part I wouldn't make it any thicker than it is, but I would cast these little hairs that are like spiking upwards. You know, even if 
put product make sure it's laying down comb it down to the direction that it grows and then cast these little hairs that want to um, hang over the blend here looks really good but i don't know how the back looks it looks like the back could could have needed work you can see right here if you can follow this arrow you see where this ri this jaggedness is like it instantly gets a little bit longer and with this texture of hair that happens often you just want to make sure that you you know you're wary of that Dolan cuts yo you did you did a magnificent job right here in the back bro like that's spread perfectly um little bit of a line like right here in this section but dude right here in this section probably like the half to be honest but dude you did a, a great job this is an area where a lot of people struggle the blend looks good um you know the, the most i could critique it was maybe this little line which most people wouldn't notice maybe right here most people wouldn't notice that either all right so this picture is super small um and this is see how the last the person before how his was spread nicely and there wasn't you know bulk right in this section this is a typical thing that happens in the back where right here the, the blend looks good right here as well but this typically is where it starts to get funny so and that's all about spreading the, the blend um the picture is super small so i can't give you as much critique, critique as i would like maybe some thinning shears right here in this section or some clip over comb or scissor over comb okay cool so um the picture here it looks filtered man like i you know the, there's no really the sharpness of the photo isn't isn't there um you know with the taper i probably would have balled it out a little bit better in this section you blended it nicely um into the top obviously there's a there's some disconnect i don't know if the client wanted it that way it looks like you styled it into the back but you left enough length right here right above the occipital bone to where it would lay down so good job on that part can't we really see the back table but the line looks decent um good job bro okay so um sosa cuts let's get right into it um you could definitely tell that you, that you know you're you're cutting from home um it just looks like your guidelines are not they're not shaped nicely you know what i'm saying like it looks like your first guideline was literally like this Right, then your second guideline was up to here, which wasn't spread out enough. Right? And then it kind of gets a little lost in here. Um, but from here to here, you didn't spread your spread your 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 half enough. Or the blade open. You didn't go up high enough. This is definitely the one guard. I would have I would have went up a little bit higher with the one guard. Um with your shaping, I would you know I Either leave this up a little bit higher or go in a little bit more in this section just so that it looks it just, it just flows right you know it complements the shape of his of his face because I don't think this beard does I think you left the sideburn especially way too thick in my opinion so hope that helps okay so this is a decent this is a decent haircut right here it looks a little bit longer see this like you didn't over direct it enough or if you did over direct it enough you didn't use a guideline to make sure that this was just as short as this so it should, the hair should the longest hair should be here and it should go all the way through like this this hair should not be longer than this especially since it's all standing straight out and you can see a little bit of it here too um but the blend is decent the blend is cut uh, what was it was this a fix did you have to fix this man's cut? All right, so maybe maybe his hair was already chopped up um, on the top. But, yeah, because it looks like you had to fix this haircut. Um, but you did a good job, man. Maybe a little bit of bulk right here. Probably would have been the one open or the two closed. Would have taken this out. Very nice taper back here. You spread that out perfectly. And you did a good job of, of incorporating this into this blend. So, good job, bro. This is a dope cut. There's one thing that there's one thing that stood out to me, man. So it's a it's like a it's like a shadow. It's still a lot of stubble, especially with coarse hair like this. And he has thick coarse hair. So like you really gotta get real tight on the sides to make it look like a fresh fade. But damn, you blended this so nice, man. Blended it nice. You parted it perfectly and and blended it in. Maybe right here is some scissor over comb work, right? But 
You did a damn good job, man. I, I, I wish you would have got a little bit closer on the sides. Um, and then this cut would have been would have been A1. Levitate Nate. Good job. All right, this is a tough cut right here to do because um, of the texture of the hair. And, um, you know, it looks like you were trying to do a low fade. If you're going to do a low fade, definitely finish off the C cup. Finish off the C cup. If you didn't want, if you wanted to leave it there, you got to use your razor or your shaver and get this tighter so, so it doesn't mess up this little C cup. Um, right here, right in here, this is either the two closed or the one open. Right? Maybe in this section right here, some scissor over comb or clipper over comb. You know, that's that's the best uh, advice I could give you, man. It looks like you were, you lined him up in the front. I wouldn't have lined him up in the front. But if you're going to line him in the front, make sure this is a little bit shorter so that he doesn't have little long hairs, you know, wanting to come over his hairline. That you just lined up. All right, Joe's cut. You got a high taper here. So this is what I would have done differently. I like I like I like high tapers, but I would have tried to keep this line dark, right? I would have brought it, kept it so that it, it could it could stand out up to this point, and I would have blended into it, right? Still, you know, keep that blend high like this, but blend it into the hairline, and then give him a nice sharp line. But uh, you got you got it real nice and tight here. Um, probably would have went up with the blade open right into this section right just to spread the blend a little bit more but bro like looks like you're in your your, your porch cutting here man you did you did a good job you did you did a, you did a good job all right so i guess that's it all right so that's it we did 30 haircuts today that's the end of your haircuts my feedback 11 i appreciate you guys watching and you guys ask me like crazy every live stream on instagram Where's the next? When's the next one coming? When's the next one coming? I'm doing one a week, 30 to 35 pictures every session, and uh, we'll keep keep it going, man. I appreciate all the feedback you guys been giving me on 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 my feedback for your haircuts, and uh, let's keep this rolling, man. Appreciate you guys as always. Smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you on the next video.